Wow. Holy shit, man. God damn. This is fucking brutal, man. Just take a baseball bat to my nuts. What is it that you can't let go of? Huh? What slight did I make to your fine, upstanding character that you can't... Well, the billboard forget? wasn't great. Oh, already go to hell. Howard. Jesus I'm Christ. I'm not giving you my case. And I'm going to tell every one of those clients what a lying, miserable, pig fucker you are. <laughs> I will burn the whole thing to the ground before I give it to you. Jesus Christ, man. Damn, man. Like I said before, though. Like, at that look, I'm 100% convinced I'm right. You can't win this game. Like, well, I just, I'm, I'm kind of like having five, five different thoughts at the same time. There's got to be other law firms in the, in the city, right? Just go to one of them. I know Howard or Chuck can't be involved because, you know, he's this partner of this one, but Jimmy could do it by himself and go to one of these other firms, you know? Are you out of your rabbit ass mind? The decision has been made, Kim. So, thank you for your input. It wasn't input. She's asking a question, you cocksucker. And again, like, I don't really blame him. I'm just mad. <laughs> I'm just mad. At, I'm mad at Chuck, is what I am. Why? I'm mad at Chuck. The partners have made a decision. And, and Chuck is one of the partners. You want to come in here and tell me what I'm doing wrong? You are welcome to keep it to yourself. Because I don't care. <laughs> Still fair. I think this is fair, man. I know he's supposed to be, in, like, everybody's supposed to hate him, I guess. But this is weird, too. Because, like, uh, you guys have already seen me do uh, Walking Dead, I assume. And I was kind of <laughs> siding with Shane, you know? Oh, shit, really? Now he's going to prove my point. He's not a complete Close asshole. You should have stuck to your guns, dude. That's fair. Let me just count to three. Oh, my God, dude. Could really overthink something like this. Yeah. You ain't built for this, dude. Easy peasy. <laughs> you can see the guy be busterous, sissy, busterous. I'm too drunk to, to say it, pronounce it correctly. But he just that kind of gave him a lift, you know. Count the money, dumbass. Jesus Christ! For the third time. Is it all there? Um, it's just baking I'll powder. Short twenty. 20 <laughs> That's fine. That ain't fine. Give, give me the twenty dollars, for fuck. Just Are pay you? the man. <laughs> Pull that twenty out of your pocket, motherfucker. <laughs> I'd give it to him in one dollar bills. See, I flip. I immediately flip. Give it to him in one dollar bills. <laughs> that, that wind was perfect. There better not be a pill missing, bitch. We're done, man. What? You want to kiss? You want to dance? What's happening? I gotta change my pants. You can pay me now. Pay me, motherfucker. Mm. The lesson is, if you're going to be a criminal, do your homework. Wait, I'm, I'm not a bad guy. I, no, I didn't say you're Dude, a you're a criminal. I said you're a criminal. Yeah, there's That's a difference, the difference, actually, if you think about it. I've known Dude. good criminals and bad cops. They had priests, honorable thieves. You can be on one side of the law or the other. That's a whole chaotic shit, dude, to be talking about. But you took something that wasn't yours, and you sold it for a profit. That you makes you a criminal. criminal. Good one. <laughs> that's up to you. Good point, man. That's a really good point. I... You can sleep on it before you decide. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. Yeah, I never really thought about it. That's true, though. You can be a good criminal or a bad criminal. Be a good witch or a bad witch. Just don't be a sandwich. I hope she doesn't tell him, because he's just going to be really mad at Chuck. But we're near the end of the season, so I guess that's got to happen, right? Tonight, it's Jimmy Land. I've got gin, I've got tequila, I've got good Kentucky bourbon, and you may partake with me. In My man, your choice. Kentucky I'm bourbon, dude. Kentucky bourbon, right here. I won't even like switch out the glass. Put that shit in here. 
generations passed down. I can't believe she's going to tell him everything he did for Chuck, man. He's done so much for Chuck. And swing him around. Jimmy Hamlin Look, to go blue. I'm, a, I'm angry with Jimmy. You're like a damn pod person. Jesus, dude. What you don't you know what the fuck you're talking about. Please tell me. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. But the Kentucky bourbon. I'm glad she didn't tell him. He's going to figure it out from this phone. Hopefully Chuck uh, erased the uh, outgoing call. I ain't be fucking with that gas, boy. Not this kid. And the space blanket lining in the suit. What a fantastic idea. It really made being outside much more tolerable. Yeah, he's done a lot for you, Chuck. Really. Thinking he's about done a lot. Walk around the Jimmy, are you all right? Hell no. Well, I didn't sleep last night. So. It's that knife in my back, man. It just makes yeah, sleeping uncomfortable. Searching. Wish it could yep. have worked out. Yeah. Imagine that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Two McGill boys, side by side, storming the gates. Right he don't want you in this world, dude. Down the, bed. the very best. Yeah. yeah. Except. Yeah. Except. I'll keep on Howard. Um, I'll badger him. But maybe I can gradually wear him down, you know? Get him Boy, you really are a son of a bitch. He's playing his shit to the hilt, man. Thanks. He might change his mind. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, maybe yeah, sure. Of HHM applauding. For you. Yeah, how about they that? love you. You threatened to pull out, Hamlin would be insane to screw with you. You've got the nuclear option. Launch the doomsday device. Game over. If working with me is what you really want. Right, Chuck? <laughs> you called him. Busted. You called Hamlin. Busted. I always turn my phone off before I put it in your mailbox. Two nights ago, it was left on battery drained i'm so damn sure that i turned it off you know because i always do it's a habit right <laughs> so yeah it was nagging, exactly. it was nagging busted so, and deleted it is you chuck busted boy that phone huh yeah that phone must have felt like a blowtorch in your ear all that electricity all those radio waves right up against the side of your head my must God. have been very important <laughs> it was so important that you had to call before right? our meeting. The only thing I can think, the only thing that makes sense is you told him yep. to hire me. Just like you made that decision oh, how many years ago that was. Right back to when I passed the bar and tried to join the firm. You didn't want me. Goddamn right. Speak up. An online course? What a joke. I worked wow. my ass off to get where I am. And you take these shortcuts and you think suddenly you're my peer? You do what I do because you're funny and you can make people laugh? I committed my life to this. Wow. You know, so that's it then, right? Keep old Jimmy down in the mailroom because he's not good enough to be a lawyer. Wow. I know you. I know what you were, what you are. People don't change. You're slipping Jimmy. Slipping slip Jimmy. Jimmy I can handle just fine, but slipping Jimmy with a law degree is like a chimp with a machine gun. Oh, the law shit. is sacred. If you abuse wow. that power, you know wow. I'm right. Holy shit, man. God damn. This is fucking brutal, man. Just take a baseball bat to my nuts. God damn. Hey, Go fuck I yourself. Get a 20 pound bag of ice. That's the last and ice you ever get, motherfucker. Some bacon and some eggs and a couple of those steaks that you like. Some fuel canisters. It's enough for three or four days. After, After that, that, you can go fuck. Yeah. You're on your own. Go fuck yourself. I am done. Yep. Jimmy, come back inside. Refer to back to where I said, remember when, I, you know, all those time ago when I said, go fuck yourself? Jimmy! Do that. Jimmy! Boy, I'd be so mad. See, it's striking personally because I was my father's caretaker. I was pretty much that. You know, like, I mean, he, he wasn't allergic to electricity. He had electricity. He could have gotten deliveries, I suppose. But I did all the shopping for him. 
I did his laundry, you know, and all that shit, cleaned him around the house, brought all the food to him and shit. So just imagining, like, he had done, like, and he was always proud of me. He always supported my filmmaking, even though, like, I never really got anywhere with it. You know, he never lost faith in me, my filmmaking. But just imagine, like, imagine him stabbing me in the back is kind of what this would feel like. I can really, really relate because it didn't happen. Like, but I can imagine it happening and how bad that would fucking feel. Like, I don't think, unless you've been somebody's caretaker, I don't think you understand how much that takes out of you. And, you know, a lot of people, like, you don't want to admit it. Like, like I did it. I was happy to do it. I would do it again for that. You know, I wish he was still alive. I could, wish I could still be taking care of him. But, God damn, it takes a lot out of you, man. It takes a lot out of you. Like, there's no days off when you're somebody's caretaker. Like, you get no days off. You know, and I know, like, this guy, like, he, he could cook for himself and shit, which Dad really couldn't do. You know, but, um... I'm just saying, man, you know, it makes me emotional because I would just think I, I, it really, really strikes a chord in me. I could really empathize with where he's going through way more on an emotional level than like, you know, um, I've never been cheated on. So like when people get cheated, characters get cheated on, it doesn't really hit me emotionally. That never happened to me, you know, shit like that. So like everybody has their own thing where like a character can go through a certain thing, you know, like that, that strikes you a certain way. This does for me. It does a lot. So, man, because I just, uh, what a great, man, this season has been fucking phenomenal. I can't believe I never, I was sleeping on this show. And look, nothing's ever going to replace Breaking Bad in my heart. I think it's the best show ever made. Walter White and Jesse Pinkman are two of the best characters I've ever seen. Like, and, and I feel that that loss, but this show is its own thing. And it is fucking awesome. Wow. Man, it, 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 <laughs> I'm ending Halloween on a down note. Good thing there's a couple episodes left of some other shit. I don't even remember what I've got on the schedule. But yeah. Couple more things, and then uh, the next thing will be another Better Call Saul where I'll be watching the finale, which I'm actually getting ready to do right now. <laughs>